Hey friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. The first Steam Next Fest of 2024 is upon us and I am so excited. If you don't know, Steam Next Fest are typically one week long celebrations with new demos, live streams, and the opportunity to chat with developers of the games. There are always so many different demos to try out with this specific Next Fest having over 1,000 games. I'm definitely not going to talk about 1,000 games, but I did want to highlight 10 amazing amazing cozy game demos that I think you should try out before Steam Next Fest ends on February 12th. We're going to kick off this video with the first demo, Make Room. Make miniature dioramas using hundreds of objects. Create a compact kitchen, a comfortable living room, or a cozy nook to read books. The choice is yours. I've been seeing a lot of tiny room designer games recently, but this one has been my favorite so far. I love all of the furniture designs and how many options you actually have. You can easily change the sizes of things, change the color of things. You really do have so much control over the design. I wanted to make a cozy bedroom and I was almost finished when I discovered you can place switches in your room. So of course I had to put three in one room as we actually have five switches in our house. We love Nintendo over here. And you know what? There's also cat options you can place in your room. You all know how I feel about that. Honestly, this is the perfect demo to play at night when you need to wind down for sleep as making your own dioramas is so peaceful. If you do try out the demo, be sure to use code Ashes Cozy Corner to get a free bookshelf in game that looks like my real bookshelf in my cozy room. Next up is Dreaming Isles, a farming life sim with high seas adventure, grow crops, grow ammo, and grow a backbone. Feed the Islanders, free the Islanders, become an Islander. Forge relationships, find romance, call people scurvy dog, raise the mansell, fire the cannons, and set sail for adventure. This one really piqued my interest because to my knowledge, I've never heard of a cozy farm life sim that also includes pirate-ish vibes. You'll have to start from scratch as you've been shipwrecked and can't remember anything. As you continue through the game, you'll be able to restore a ship and even sail to other places. The graphics are really cute, definitely giving off a Stardew vibe, but my favorite part definitely has to be what the houses and buildings look like in-game. There is combat and naval battles, so just keep that in mind. The full game will be releasing later this year as well. We have Magical Delicacy next, and this is one that I have been so excited for. Magical Delicacy is a wholesome pixel art platformer. Cook magical delicacies from a vast collection of ingredients in your own shop. Explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. Learn new ways to traverse, discover secrets, and experience a unique witchy world. This one is a cooking exploration platformer management-ish game, so if any of those interest you, keep listening. Magical Delicacy is about a witch named Flora who moves to Grat and opens up a shop. You'll be cooking and selling, collecting ingredients yourself, getting orders from townspeople, and fulfilling them. You can also make things for your shop and sell them there and upgrade everything to your heart's content. This feels like a perfect manager game to scratch the itch if you've been waiting for Haunted Chocolatier like I have. Plank Builders is another really unique one on this list. Plank Builders is a captivating yet relaxing construction game. Magical marbles have the ability to make stuffed toys come alive. Together with the monkeys, the player can plan and construct different buildings made out of wooden planks. Find all of the monkeys and help them to come alive too. I'm going to be honest, I hate monkeys so much. Thankfully, these ones are like little sock monkeys and they're on the cuter side so I can handle it. I'm glad I can because this game is really cool. You have to find all of the monkeys by constructing things with small wooden planks, but here's the kicker. You can't touch the floor. Yes, you heard that right. The floor is lava. That phrase brings back so much nostalgia. Once you awaken the monkeys you find with the magical marbles, they'll help you build more things like paths, bridges, and even houses. But wait, there's even a skill tree that lets you unlock new blueprints for building, upgrades, and building techniques. I highly recommend trying Plank Builders out if you like being strategic or if you like building in games. I'm sure if you've been on my channel for any time at all, you have heard of this next game. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is another must try during Steam Next Fest. Before you say it, yes, I am obsessed, and yes, I want everyone to 
to try this game. It is amazing. Okay, on to what the game is. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is a gamified focus tool set to a soothing lo-fi soundtrack. Discover and collect spirits, customize your cozy virtual space, and facilitate your real life tasks with a collection of handy features designed to improve concentration and ease stress. I'm an Enneagram one, so everything about this game is perfect for me. This game helps you stay focused by making task lists and using Pomodoro timers. You can completely customize your audio and visuals, and you will also get in-game rewards by raising your spiritographer level. Raising your level is easy. You just need to use the tools like the to-do list, timers, or you can even get experience by finding the cute spirits in-game. When you raise your level, you'll get in-game rewards like new furniture for your room. Everything can be completely customized to make your experience completely unique to you. This is like the lo-fi videos you always put on while working, except a million times better. Trust me, you want to throw up Spirit City lo-fi sessions anytime you need to study or get work done because it will help you focus so much better knowing that you're getting rewards and you'll get the surprise of finding spirits. It's a win-win. Little No Galaxy is one that I wanted to make sure I included on this list because I know so many of you will be interested. Join Space Alliance as a new captain in training and work with your crew to solve the mysteries of an ancient relic found on the gray planet. Little No Galaxy is a cozy single player RPG, space adventure full of friendly characters, exploration, crafting, and farming. I do want to mention really fast that this game was made by a husband and wife team and I think that is so cute. The devs called it Stardew Valley meets Star Trek and I agree 100%. Like most other life sims, this game is full of content with all of the regular things but make it in space. So then you add in things like restoring your ship by fixing broken areas and exploring different planets with aliens. Apparently not all aliens are nice though so so we'll be using our laser blaster, yes, a laser blaster, to get rid of the less friendly aliens. Can you also marry an alien? Yeah. That's a thing too. Definitely Stardew Valley meets Star Trek. Rusty's Retirement is next and it is an idle farming game that plays on the bottom of your screen. Plant crops, produce biofuel, and automate. A relaxing idle farming simulator that sits at the bottom of your screen while you do other things. Rusty is the cute little robot who is going to be doing all of the farm work while you work on other things for real life. You'll be able to expand your farm and build an entire team of robots to help Rusty continue to plant, water, and harvest as your farm grows. This little idle game gets even better as you can zoom it in or out or even turn on focus mode, which will slow down crop production. So many people have been trying this demo and loving it. The full release date is planned for quarter one of 2024, so it should release very soon. Coffee Caravan is the perfect demo for all of you coffee lovers out there. There. Fuel your coffee passion in Coffee Caravan. As a cafe manager, brew, experiment with delicious recipes, and build your dream coffee business on wheels. Serve customers, unlock new flavors, purchase appliances, and enjoy your procedurally generated road trip in this roguelite experience. So with Coffee Caravan, you'll be managing, brewing, serving, basically doing it all. You'll have to be more strategic with this one as you have to choose the coffee recipe you use, invest in equipment, balance the speed you do your work, and manage your finances. This is probably not a demo I'd try to wind down with. Maybe play this demo as a morning game sesh to help you wake up. Because you know, coffee. Minami Lane is up next. Welcome to Minami Lane. Build your own street in this cozy, casual management sim. Unlock and customize buildings, manage your shops, and maximize the happiness of your villagers to complete quests and fill your street with love. Minami Lane takes inspiration from Japan, letting you create a street with ramen shops, boba shops, bookstores, and even more, getting to choose from different building colors, roof colors, and roof shapes. In order to make the street success, 
successful, you'll have to make sure you listen to feedback from villagers, fixing what they want fixed, and offering the right prices. You have complete control over your shops, like adjusting inventory, prices, and even recipes, like what exactly you want your ramen to have in it. You have two modes, one being the mission mode, where you strategically plan each day while completing objectives, or sandbox mode, which focuses on creativity and relaxation. This demo lasts about an hour, and it is so cute. Last but not least, Kameru a Frog Refuge. Foster a sanctuary for frogs and restore the biodiversity of the wetlands in Kameru, a cozy farming sim where you raise frogs by playing mini games and decorating your habitat. This demo is really cute and it has some really unique graphics, kind of reminding me of my childhood, maybe because of a book I've read. I have no idea. There's over 500 frogs to collect in the Frogadex, which you can attract by using different furniture and fixing up the wetlands. To get the extra special frogs, you'll have to breed the frogs through a special breeding minigame. This demo is another one that can last decently long, around an hour to two hours. I'm so excited for you to try these amazing demos during Steam Next Fest. Don't forget, it only lasts until February 12th and some of the demos will be leaving after that, so make sure you play the ones you're most excited for first. Also, don't forget to wishlist the games on Steam, that way you'll get an email when they release. If there's a cozy demo you've tried or want to try and you want to recommend it, please do. I love seeing all your recommendations. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.